Before we get into the battle, people, you need to make sure you've got enough energy to watch this. And what do I mean by that? Get yourself some G Fuel using code SALT for 30% off. My favorite flavors are dragon fruit and peach iced tea. There's a bunch of other flavors you want to try. You can get starter kits, you can get tubs, a whole bunch of different ranges there for your energy and caffeine needs or non-caffeine needs. Link in the description of the video, people. Come and check out G Fuel with code SALT. If you miss the salt, it's not my fault. What's up with you? For today's video, we'll be full telepathy ability Pokemon team. Pretty much what telepathy ability actually does, it prevents your ally from taking any damage. And this is only working in doubles battles. So today's battles are all going to be doubles. Lots of the time I had people saying, please do more doubles battles. I had quite a lot of comments say that. So if you enjoy them and you like the video, drop a like there. Leave a comment saying maybe you want to see some more. Okay, we've got two battles today. The first one, this is against Duke. And we've got a Toxapex and a Corsola lead. And I've got Tapu Lili and we've got my Toxtricity. And you're probably thinking, hmm, Toxtricity, that doesn't have uh, telepathy. Yes, it does. Watch this. <laughs> so we've got Aromatic Miss, Skill Swap, Dazzling Gleam, and Ally Switch. I've got a Jet Pack on Tapu Lili, and I've got Boo Burst, Slide Tray, Discharge, and Growl with Throat Spray on Toxtricity. Let me tell you what my strategy is going to be. So since I wanted all my Pokemon to actually have telepathy, what I did is I used Skill Swap on Toxtricity, then I used Noble Roar on Tapu Lili. What this did is I actually gave its ability, being telepathy, to the Toxic Rogue, and then I went for the Noble Roar with a Throat Spray, got a boost, and then I gave a Jet Pat to Tapu Lili, so it would swap it out, so it would still retain telepathy ability and swap it in later. How's that for a, a pretty cool strategy? So a fair little bit to think about there, and uh, here we go. So we got Oranguru coming in. I noticed Oranguru had a lot of physical moves, and I thought I could make a fun physical set. It really wasn't very good, but it was actually quite a lot of fun to use. So let's get going here. So I've got a Brutal Swing, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Work Up set. The EV spread, I gave it max health and max attack, uh, brave nature. It's always good to give Oranguru max health. Um, it's a very bulky Pokemon, and it just really, really good. Whether you're running a physical set or a special set, which uh, you know most people do. So go for Discharge there. Yeah, discharge is such a great move. The thing about Toxtricity, right, it's such a good Pokemon. Uh, like If it had Telepathy, that'd be really, really good. So I thought, let's give it Telepathy, and it worked out very, very good. So going for Earthquake with Oranguru, I was actually like, you're quite nice going for Earthquake on Toxtricity too and not affecting it. And that's going to take out the Tox Specs and do some pretty good damage to Kosola there. Now that's definitely an Everlight uh, Kosola, and interestingly enough, it's got a weak armor instead of a cursed body, so that's going to get a speed boost. So bye bye, Toxpex. Next uh, up is going to be the Will O Wisp from Corsola, and that's going to burn my Toxpex. Uh, that's a little bit annoying, but uh, it's not really going to do too much damage. I say it's got something like. I don't know, Hex or something like that. That'll work fairly good with it. Next Pokemon to come in is going to be Boltan. So Boltan, I, I won't be able to use Discharge, not going to do a lot, but I can go for Earthquake. Oh, yeah, I, I can even go for Brutal Swing here. Uh, Brutal Swing's uh, not a move you see very often, so uh, relish this moment. So we're going to go for that, and now I'm going to go for a second. Well, I can't go Boom Burst because it goes type. I can go Slight Wave. You know, that'll hit pretty hard. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this Boltan. I don't see Kasola as too much of a threat at the moment. You never know. So it's going to have a special set, and it's going to pop a Hyper Beam, so it's a very nice set. I'd say that's a competitive uh, Volt on the competitive ability, not competitive set. And it uh, didn't really do a lot to Oranguru. It's a very, very tanky Pokemon. So here comes the uh, Sludge Wave here. I know that it won't do a lot to Kasola, but it does a lot of damage to Volt on, almost taking it out in one shot. Now, the uh, move that the Corsola is going to go for is Nightshade, so it's got a fixed damage move there, which always works well on that Pokemon. And now I can go for the Mighty Brutal Swing on Oranguru. Amazing animation there, and it did two damage to Corsola. Now, it, it, the move Brutal Swing, I've actually got a really cool video on my channel. It was from very, very long ago. I think I called it something like the greatest Pokemon play ever, something like that. Uh, it actually really was. It wasn't like you know. It wasn't like a clickbait thing. It was actually uh, or a joke thing. It was actually a really amazing spray with brutal swing. But uh, it had. It was called something like that. I'm not sure if anyone's ever seen it for or you want to search it up after. But it was a really really cool moment with brutal swing. Uh, back to the battle anyway. Next Pokemon here is we got is the Arcanine. Now Arcanine is going to be going for a flare. But it's no jokes here. This is going to be hitting very very hard. And it's going for Oranguru, and it's going to take it out. But uh, that's fine. Oranguru did a pretty good job there, considering it was a physical set. Uh, now we've got some recoil on the Arcanine, and I went for a discharge here. Obviously, it's going to hit both of them for good damage. 
Casola is down, and Arcanine takes a good chunk of damage too. So a pretty solid performance there uh, by my Pokemon. So Toxtrix is going to take a little bit more burn damage, which is fine. And next Pokemon is the Tapu Lili. Now, this was mainly a supporting set, but I did actually put Dazzle and Gleam on there, so it had, you know, some way of attacking, and I also had Ally Switch too, which is quite handy. And I've also got Aromatic Mist, which is quite nice too. Um, what you can do with Aromatic Mist, you can cast it on your partner, and it gives them a plus uh, one in special defense, so it makes them more bulky. But another really cool move, if you have any double, like, if you can think of any doubles-only abilities that I haven't done, maybe do a quick search on YouTube, be like, um... For example, if this is the telepathy ability, just go like Pip Knight Telepathy Ability Team. Like, if you do a search of ability and I haven't done it, it's all about doubles. You know, leave it below in the comments section too. I could even do like some other, I'm just trying to think of some other doubles things I can do here while we've got some, you know, a lot of time until the new games. So back to the battle there. Uh, Arcanine is going to go for a Flare Bits and Tapu Lady tanks it because I forgot to tell you what my EV spread was. You're probably wondering why I lived that. I was running max health and max speed, uh, timid nature. So that's the only reason I lived that. Next Pokemon is going to be my Mashana, and we've got our Stoutland here. And this Mashana set is uh, pretty interesting. So I thought for a second, well, I can go for Dazzling Gleam here. That'll be pretty good. Um, we've got the Lycanroc too. Now, I felt that Lycanroc could have a Cell Rock or just generally outspeed me. And it did. So I had the Assault Rock and bye-bye Tapu Lee. But that's okay. Uh, Tapu Lee pretty much did you know, a great job there giving uh, Toxtricity the ability and helping it out. Giga Impact's going to be Stoutland's move, and it's going to miss. I went for Misty Explosion. Let me tell you what my other moves were, though, because you didn't get to see that. Or well, you might have. Uh, we got Misty Explosion, Trick Room, Rock Slide, and Helping Hand. And we got Citrusberg as the item. And I got Max Health and Max Special Attack, Quiet Nature. That was the Mashana set. Now, that's Stoutland. Man, that actually tanked that very, very well, considering that was a critical hit. Watch this, though. This is pretty cool. So, Lithigan, as you know, doesn't have telepathy, but we're going to change that real quick. I've got a real cool strategy here. So, it's sort of kind of fun, like my very first strategy with Tapu Lili and the Toxtra. See, we've got Roleplay, Petal Blizzard, Sleep Powder, and Sword Dance. Now, Petal Blizzard is not a move you see very often. But I thought it'd be really cool to actually make use of this move. But quite a lot of the time, I found Pokemon with Telepathy didn't actually have, like, spread moves. You know, it was very, very rare. So I, what I wanted to do here is use Roleplay on the Tapu Fini. And that would give the Lilligant the Telepathy ability, which is great. Then on the Tapu Fini, I could go for Soak to soak the opponent, giving them a water type, and then with ta uh, the Lilligan, I could go for Petal Blizzard for super effective damage. I thought that'd be really, really fun. So we got uh, a Dynamax here. Yeah, I thought it was going to come because it's the last two Pokemon, and it's going to be that Stoutland, which is going to be very bulky. I miss a Lucky Stone Age there. That would have very, very much hurt. And I went for Surf. Now, Lilligan doesn't have the ability yet, so it did take damage from Surf. But as soon as it actually has that ability, it will not take any damage at all. I went for the Sleep Powder here first because I thought the Stoutland was like, you know, a very, very big problem in Dynamax. And, you know, I outsped it too. I've got a Jolly Nature, a Lilligant with uh, max speed and max attack. So we got Tapu Fin here with Leftovers too. And this is max health and max speed. I try to make this a bulky set. Surf Soak, Acroing, and Heal Pulse and Leftovers as the item. So now I can go for my little combination here. I can go for the role play and I can go for the soak on the Stoutland. That'll be really, really handy. I, I don't think I'll be able to take Stoutland in one shot by any means, but it, you know it'll do some very, very good damage. So here we go, role play on the uh, on the uh, not the Stoutland, the uh, the Lilligan. Now the cool thing is too, you could even uh, use it on opponents. So if you come across an opponent with telepathy, you could use it too. I didn't come across anyone with telepathy in the battles that I did, but uh, you know that's why I had it on my own Pokemon too as a backup. But it would have been funny. So uh, here we go. Let's go for Petal Blizzard. I want to kind of use Petal Blizzard without Dynamaxing first if I have to. And I've also got Surf too. So I thought, well, I could do that. But then I was like, well, Surf's not going to do a lot now because you know Stoutland's a Water type. So how about I go for Heal Poles and you know help out the Pokemon that's going to be doing you know majority of the damage here at the end. Uh, so healing up Lily, get there all the way up to uh, full health. And now the Lilligant is going to go for Petal Blizzard. And now Telepathy kicks in. It's not going to hit the Tapu Fini. And I can go for a Petal Blizzard. It's interesting how such a basic ability um, is quite, is very, very good in doubles. Like, Telepathy is a very, very underrated uh, yeah, ability in my opinion. You know, it, it's, it's simple, but it's just so effective. Especially if you've got, like, the type of moves uh, in doubles, like, uh, you know, like the moves that I've shown, right? And, you know, other ones, too. And no, there isn't a Pokemon that learns Telepathy and Explosion. You'd have to teach that uh, ability, uh, of course. You'd have to have that to a Smeagol or something like that. But uh, 
Yes, I, I pretty much included all the moves I could. So going for a final uh, last hurrah here, I'm going to go for a Dynamax Tappy Finny because Lilligan, I'd say, is not going to do the job. So I'm going to go for a Dynamax Tappy Finny and just finish Stoutland off with a Max Geyser. But yeah, that was pretty much the first game. I have to say, I really enjoyed using the uh, the first uh, the, the, the first combinations, like the Toxtrus, the and the Tapu Lele. That was really fun, and like it was, it was, I thought it was really cool because you could give it the ability, then I could use Growl to uh, sorry, not Growl. That was my I, actually that was, that's a good thing. I actually first had Growl, but since Growl hit both the other opponents, you couldn't actually select your own uh, target or partner. So I had to change that to Nova Raw, any like sound based move. Then I get that boost and special attack and then the eject pack would kick in on Tapu Lili because it had a, a, like a stat drop. So it worked out really, really nice in the lead. I know it was a little bit of setup, but it was pretty fun if you were actually able to pull that off. That was the fastest way I could pull it off too. So uh, Stoutland's going to go for its final Giga Impact there, and I'm going to go for a Max Geyser, and that's going to be the end of Stoutland. Pretty much there, Tapu Lili was way too boggy. Just in case, though, I did Dynamax, because you know a critical hit from Giga Impact is uh, no joke, right? Especially from Stoutland. Uh, thank you for the battle, uh, Duke there. Let's get on to uh, battle number two. Now, this was an interesting battle, too. This is against us, uh, my, my man, Sapion. And this was a long battle, too. Like, this went all the way to 20 minutes. And there was, there was a fair bit of soul in this battle, too. So the first Pokemon we got here is going to be Ninjask and Articuno. Uh, that's also, I think, to uh, Moltres, uh, the shiny uh, Galar Moltres. That's the very last one to come out so very, very soon. So, uh, yes, um, we can finally have all three of them. And I will, yes, before someone asks, I will be doing an updated team with the shiny uh, legendary birds. So the normal ones and the gala ones and shinies are both. So I'll be doing that one this month for sure. So uh, watch out for that. So where well, we got Articuno to go for our ally switches. So they're swapping up positions with the ninjas. Uh, ninjas is going to go for double team lane. Okay. I think it's called Uzumaki like after Naruto. Like, you know, Naruto Uzumaki or something like that. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's spelled, it's spelled a little bit different though. So maybe it's not. Maybe it's something completely different. It's like easy. I don't know. I'm not sure. So anyway, uh, we're going to go for the strategy that I did at the start here. This is the no, uh, Noble Raw strategy. Um, you can also do it like... Uh, what was another move I could use? There's actually, there was quite a lot. I think it was like Eerie Impulse. And like there's all those other little sound-based moves I could use. So we're going to swap that out uh, there. Or have no chance uh, to actually have to swap out there. It's going to be automatic. And Mashana is going to come in. So I tried something a little bit different here with Mashana. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Helping Hand on Toxtricity. And I went for Discharge. So I thought, man, you know, that's going to do a lot of damage. Now the thing about Ally Switch, it's a great move. But the only bad thing about it is if you do Ally Switch and the opponent uses a uh, like a, a move that hits all uh, players or p opponents, right? Um, you don't you don't dodge it, so that's the only thing about it too. So you got to sort of watch out for that. It's a good move, but once you use like moves like Discharge, it's uh, it's difficult, so you can't get around. So uh, that's going to be definitely be the end of the Articuno, and uh, that's going to be the end of uh, Ninja Sub Two too. I got to say, Articuno is my favorite shiny for the uh, legendary Galar birds. It looks really really good. I know that. Just, I know. I just really like how they did a throwback to all the originals in the shinies. That, that was that was a good shout there. So next Pokemon is going to be Dragapult. Ninja has gone for a Baton Pass, and remember this moment because it only Baton Pass uh, one double team. That's really all it could do. So now we got the this Pokemon. Seriously, this caused me so much uh, grief. This Como. So I'm going to hit by a U-turn here on my Machine. That's going to get rid of my half my health. Now, I don't know whether that's Choice Band or not, or maybe it's Choice. I don't really know at this point, but I had a feeling it might be. It's got very good speed, so it could be Choice Band. Now, in comes uh, Electivire. Now, this is bad. So, like, as soon as this came, I was like, bugger, this is going to have Motor Drive in it. So, Motor Drive's going to kick in and obviously cancel out uh, the uh, Electric Arm Attack. And that move actually missed on uh, on Como. So, we got uh, Misty Explosion here. And Misty Explosion is not going to obviously hit my, uh, you know, my Pokemon that I wanted to. Because I wanted to hit... No, it did hit both. That was a Discharge for my bad. It hit both of them. I was like, one of those moves that missed, and it was a Discharge. But Misty Explosion hit both of them. And the Como actually lived. And I was like, man, that really sucks. I thought that it would take it out. And, you know, Como does have a fair bit of bulk to it, you know. It's a pretty dang good Pokemon. Next we got here is Tapu Lele. I've got Dazzling Gleam, so that should be enough to take you take it out. And now it's going to go for Protect here. So it's always good to use Protection, people. And uh, now uh, Electivire is going to go for Earthquake, which is going to be very bad. So... That is going to hit my Toxtricity, which is sucks because it's four times weak to it, and it's going to drop it in one shot. 
Now, I am going to take some um, a little bit of damage here on my Tapu Lily, but since I've you know, got a max health set, it's not going to do a lot. I went for Dazzling Gleam. Unfortunately, Como uh, went for Protect that turn, and Electabuzz, uh, sorry, Electivire, getting my Electivire evolution line mixed up there. It's going to take some pretty good damage there. So what I could do here is I can swap in my Oranguru, right? This, things are getting a little bit desperate now. When, when I lost my... Seriously, like, just looking at this team, it's actually not all that great once you lose Toxtricity. Like, I lose, like, a lot of damage output there. Because when you think about, like, Lilligan's a meme. Tapu Lily, well, it doesn't have any special attacking either. So Dazzling Game's not going to hit very hard. Tapu Finny is more of a setup Pokemon for uh, the Lilligan. And Oranguru is a full-added physical attacker. But it just really dis does disappointing damage. Like, obviously, that's my own fault. But once the Toxicity fell, it made things really, really difficult. And normally, Mashana wouldn't deal lots of damage there. It was like a mix set. And its strongest move was well lit, exploding. So, yeah, that's how things went. So, we're going to go to Tapu Fini right now. I did manage to get rid of the uh, Electivire, which is good. And we've got the Dragapult coming back in. So, we've got two Dragons at the moment. Now, I decided here as I'm going to have to go for a Dynamax. Because things, as I said, were looking pretty dicey. And I had to try and get some damage on this Como. Because I'm thinking, well, how can I take this out? I've lost three Pokemon now. My Tapu Fini, I didn't put Dazzling Gleam on there. I'll tell you why I didn't put it on there. Because I wanted it to actually be a full setup Pokemon for Lilligan. But looking back, I, I absolutely could have got rid of Aquaring. That would have been a good move to get rid of. And I still could have healed up my Lilligan too. But I just wanted to have like a lot of sustain so I can make sure I can, you know, get the Lilligan set to work. But if I was to do it like, um... You know, differently, I definitely would give it Dazzling Gleam, but I, I really wanted that little get set, you know, to actually happen, right? So in comes Ninjaskia, yeah, and we got the Como going for, yeah, a Protect here. Uh, telepathy is going to kick in, and we've got the, this was like, uh, yeah, this is Surf, yeah, Surf. So Surf does uh, pretty good damage there. I mean, I do have Surf on there, but the problem is it doesn't do anything to, like, Dragon-type Pokemon. So here you go. Uh, I've got a Special Defense Rise on my Max Quake. Now, I'll, I'll be honest here, I was really, really worried about the damage output that I was going to do the Como, because like, if this doesn't take this out, I, I don't actually know what Pokemon will faint it, because, you know, Lilligan's not going to do much of Petal Blizzy, you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to take some uh, very, very strong damage there from the Ninja, so there was the X-Scissor, and we've got Drain Punch on the tap finish, so Como's trying to get, you know, some of its health back there. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but, you know, it does get a bit and does have a leftover, so now it's starting to get, like, a lot of its you know, health back, which is bad. So now we've got another Surf here. That should definitely be enough to take out the... I like it. I actually noticed one thing. I like how the, uh, uh, you know, your partner Pokemon, it still does, like, the hitting animation. Like, it's like, ugh, when you still get hit, but it actually doesn't take it. I guess they didn't think that far in the animations, but that's okay. That's that's like a small nitpick. I just, I just kind of find that funny. So I went for the Max Quake there on the coma, and it failed to take it out. So as, as you know, I've got Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Brutal Swing. I mean, they really would. None of them are really going to be able to take it out. They're you know, kind of weak moves on it, you know, weak attacks. That. So, uh, more leftovers recovery on Tapu Fini here. I've got one other Pokemon, which is a Lilligan. And we've got two Dragons left as well. And one other Pokemon too. So, like, man, I don't know how I'm going to take these out. Especially Como. So, now we've got the Drago go for a U-turn again. All it's done so far is just go for, like, U-turn pretty much. So, I'm definitely thinking it's Choice. Choice Bandit or Choice Scarfed or something like that. Maybe Choice Guard. So next Pokemon's going to be Garch. I'm like, man, these are really, like, at the start, they, they said this was quite, you know, quite a good team. Like, you know, you better watch out, that sort of thing. So like, man, I'm going to do my best here. But these dragons, man, they're just so powerful. So uh, we've got the Oranguru fainting, and we've got um, three dragons to deal with. Now, this part was actually pretty funny, like, I, I will say. Like, I actually got some quite good use out of this. So I went for Surf here. I knew we could do, like, okay damage to Garch. I mean, it was like, okay, that's nice. But he was like, man, I wish I had Dazzling Gleam. Like, one Dazzling Gleam. But they would have taken yeah, at least Como out and, you know, done some good uh, chunk of damage to, uh, you know, Garchomp right there. So, I guess that was uh, a lesson learned there. But I don't care because I wanted to use this really good strategy. So, it wasn't Ogre yet, people. I still had a chancey, but it was going to require a lot of luck. So, Como's going to go for a Drain Punch here. I have got some reasonable bulk there on Lilligan. I don't think this Co... I don't know how much attack stat they were running on that. It felt like it was quite bulky, so... 
uh, maybe they'll put the EV spread in there for you know, do see this video, but uh, it felt quite bulky to me. So the Lilligan's going to go for Sleep Powder here, and I'm going to put the Guard Chomp to sleep, because I see Guard Chomp as a threatening Pokemon, because, you know, it could have Sword Dance, Rock Slide, Earthquake, all those sort of things. I mean, not Earthquake wouldn't be so good here, but, you know, you know that Rock Slide's very, very good. The chance of flinching too, it's very, very good speed. And, you know, probably by now, they probably realize that I don't have Dazzle and Gleam either. Right? Now, here comes a big problematic bit. The Como is going to go for a Clangor Assault, and that's going to get a boost in all of its stats, which is bad, because I was struggling to do damage to this thing before, and after all those things, like, it only costed a little bit of health, too, and it got that health back purely to all the leftovers and recovery from it had from Drain Punch, right? Uh, so anyway, we're going to get a heal policy on my Lilligan. It was imperative that I kept the Lilligan alive because, as I know, that you know, with my Tapu Fini, I don't really know if I can take these things out without it. So some more leftovers on the Como right there. I left, I mean, there's leftovers all around at this stage, right? And I was thinking about getting an Acaring up soon, but I wasn't sure if I had the chance. It's like, okay, here we go. So another Drain Punch on Lilligan, and that did a lot more damage, but still didn't take me out. So definitely thinking a bulky, bulky build on that Como because, you know, Lilligan isn't exactly what you call you know, the, the world's most bulky Pokemon. So now Tapafin is going to go for Soak and the... It missed. I was like, man. It, remember, it got that double team for early on. It only got one, though. But just remember, it only got one. So the first soak is going to miss, but I landed the sleep powder, which is good. I would have liked to get the soak off on it at least, but, you know, um, I, I guess that's okay, right? So we're going to get some more leftover recovery right now. So my, I'll tell you what my plan was here. My plan was to put both Pokemon to sleep and to put the water type on both Pokemon and then go for Petal Blizzard and take them out. Here comes Stone Edge. Tapafin is very, very bulky there. So it's actually able to live that. And I can keep healing up my uh, you know, Lilligan over and over again. But I could only do that if it was alive. So that was another thing too. So I, I'm going to go for Sleep Powder on Guard Chomp and that's going to put the Guard Chomp to sleep. So I put both of them to sleep, which is really good. So they're both are snoring at the moment. I was hoping they'd been snoring for a good three turns, you know. If I, you know, I really needed three turns to get my strategy going too, because I had to go soak, then I had to go soak, and then you know maybe I had to uh, try and go for a status move right there. Uh, so the guard chopper is going to be, uh, sorry, the Como is going to be sleepy, which is very good, and guard chop is going to be sleepy too. So I was very lucky. Both of them are snoozing. Garth actually is a pr pretty good name for Garth. I actually quite like that. So soaking the Como finally, and now I'm going to go for a boosting move here on my Lilligan. So Garchomp was the main one I was worried about because if I, my Lilligan, like say if I get hit by both Garchomp and Como, that's it, you know. I might be able to take Garchomp out with the Tapu Fini, but I'm going to need like some crazy critical hit on Tapu Fini or something like that. Uh, so some more rounds of leftovers here. The, the, the Como is going to be asleep again. Three minutes left of the battle. As I said, it was a very, very long battle. And Garchomp remains asleep. Just like, man, that was really lucky. So go for yet another heal pulse here on the Lilligate, getting it all the way back to full health. That was definitely important there. And now Lilligate went for Petal Blizzard. And guess what? The telephony kicks in right on that. And then the Petal Blizzard landed on both of them and it did very good damage. That was awesome. So super effective. Um, on the guard shop. So excellent damage. I was really, really happy about that. I mean, it didn't do a lot to Como, but taking that guard shop out was going to be quite handy as well, you know? Uh, so now the next turn. <laughs> so we got the uh, Como waking up going for its usual drain punch. It's going to go for the Lilligant again, and it's going to do under half, which is good because that's soak. Remember, that's no stab anymore. It's a water type Pokemon. So that actually helped out too. Uh, Garth's going to wake up, and it's got Fire Fang, and it's going to go for Lilligant, and that's the end of Lilligant. So that's all that Lilligan could do, unfortunately. I would have loved it to go for another Petal Blizzard, but, you know, it is what it is. Now I can go for Surf here. Now Surf is going to hit Garchomp, and it's going to take it out, which is good. The only bad thing about having Soak and Surf is you are going to go for a not very effective move every single time and not do a lot of damage. That was the only bad thing there. Once you get a fight, if you had like a, a Pokemon to support you with a grass move, that's always really good. But, you know, that's okay. So my last Pokemon is Tapu Fini here. It's a pretty bulky set too. And the last Pokemon was that Dragapult we seen earlier. So I'm like, I wonder what move Dragapult's going to do. Because all we've seen it really do is uh, use u -ten, And now it's going to go for a Phantom Force. Now, this was the last 50 seconds of this battle too. And Como's going to go for Drake Punch. Really, they don't act like... Como actually doesn't have a lot to hit me with, I don't think. Like, I... I believe it can't really do much to me. I mean, a fighting move is not going to do much at, at all, really. A dragon move isn't going to affect me, and it's got, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's pretty much all it's got. Um, some sort of, like, uh, maybe, like, another coverage move. I don't know if I've seen all four of its moves. I could have, like, Clangorous, Drain Punch, Protect. 
I think I've seen, we've seen close to all of this move, but I don't think it had much coverage against me. Uh, the strongest move there was from the Dragapult, which is Phantom Force. And the second Drain Punch actually didn't even take me out. So I managed to live all the way to the end of the battle. But of course, my opponent would have won there. Um, I had nothing to do to hit it with. But I thought it was still a really, really good battle. And I got it down to the last two Pokemon. I was pretty happy about that. But I really hope you enjoyed the Telepathy uh, Pokemon ability uh, theme battle today. It was really fun. And I'd like to do some more doubles battles. So leave a suggestion below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you tomorrow, hopefully. Peace out, people.